the first pain point that oftentimes people come to me with is they're overwhelmed and exhausted and they want to set boundaries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want, yeah. you know, they want to figure out how to say no to other people. So that's often when I, you know, oftentimes people are like, I just don't know what to do. I'm pouring out, pouring out, pouring out, and I'm just feeling broken inside. And so the first step I will say, and it's really counterintuitive to a lot of Christians is you have to start listening to the cues your own body is sending you. God designed your nervous system. God designed you to feel emotions. So when you're feeling overwhelmed or resentful, you need to pay attention to that and say, I wonder what that's, get curious is what I'll say to people. You don't want to act on it necessarily, but you do want to get curious. I wonder what that's about. And you want to Curiosity takes you away from that voice of shame, right? So we go to, I'm feeling so resentful, you know, my family or my kids or whatever, and I hate feeling that way. I'm a terrible person. As opposed to, so the enemy's just gotten that foothold. As opposed to going, I'm so resentful. I don't know what it's about. I don't like feeling that way. God, what's going on? What do I need to pay attention to? Because oftentimes those emotions are cues that maybe we're overextending our limits. Maybe we need to set some healthier boundaries. So step one is actually starting to reframe how you relate to those emotional cues, like the light on your car, right? When you're driving along and the light goes on and it's saying something needs attention. We don't just try to make that go away. We go, oh, I wonder what the engine <laughs> needs. So that's kind of where I'll start with people. Let's just start paying attention without shame, without judgment, what just what's real. And then let's see where it takes us.